This is my Creality CR10 S4, which is a 400 by 400 by 400 millimeter printing volume. The uh, goal of this little video is to show you the uh, touch screen on the uh, control box. So, uh, yeah, this uh, this machine comes with the, the dual lead screws. They give it with a filament detector and the touch screen on this control box and uh, that's the control box there which I'm not too crazy about mainly because of how it's put together and uh, they use this type of uh, fastening system which is a screw on the side and then this little uh, cut out where they put the nut there we go and we know it's a real Creality one because, well, I assume it's a real Creality one because they show they have uh, the same connectors that we're used to seeing in these boxes. And this wiring harness, or so-called wiring harness, is a quite Mickey Mouse. It's uh, actually the harness that's used to fasten the filament detector. Just moving this around, sorry about this. This is the filament detector, which is basically a, a micro switch inside this 3D printed box. And it's supposed to go here, uh, but they give you a bracket so it mounts here on the back of this control box, like around here. But you'll notice they also don't put any screws to mount um, the filament spool holder. I've got it in this little vise here just temporarily until I figure out how I want to put my spool holder on, on the machine. Yeah, so this is uh, not very good, but uh, I'll find another way to probably redesign a holder that will go here and it will all be like one unit and make it much smaller than this. But in any case, back to the control box. Um, it does come with the, the full size SD slot. Just got a light over here for you, which is there on the side, and there's no other mini USB or any kind of connector like that. What they do have is this old style printing connector, and that's it. So let's take her, let's turn it on and have a look at this. Uh, just getting my light out of the way here. Take a look at um, the touchpad. So let's boot it up. Go. And there you can see your functions from uh, going clockwise, preheat, move, home, printing, extruding, leveling, set, and more. So you can go into preheat and you can preheat either your the extruder head, the heating uh, head itself, or the bed. And the amount that you want to preheat it at can be uh, done by increments of 1, 5, and 10 degrees. So for example, that's 50 is the top, and right now it's at 21. Since I put it at 10 and add it, it jumps to 60, and so on and so forth. If I want to just zero it, I don't want to heat it, just hit close, and it goes to zero. Go back to the extruder head, and I can do the same thing there if I want to preheat it. And I can just say close and zero that if I don't want to preheat it, and go back. Move is for obviously moving the bed actually uh, and the printing head so that's really what it's all about and you can do it adjust the, the increments that you want to do that and we can go back and obviously home is to send the printing head home or you can do it by each one of the axes and then the printing is go and get the file and print and extrude is you can feed your filament in or out slowly uh, the increments of one five and ten millimeter slow speed back speed in case you want to do some adjustments I guess or whatever uh, leveling is exactly what you think it does if you push that at uh, that first one it sends the head to the front 
left side of the uh, support panel and uh, obviously second is at the front right third is rear right and fourth is rear left and if we go back we can go to set and here we have uh, filing systems and Wi-Fi and fan and I haven't done the Wi-Fi I don't really know what that's about but there you go and go back and uh, fan speeds increments again you can do your adjustment by increments full speed half speed blah 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 uh, about and uh, you obviously can continue so you can pause this uh, do a filament change and uh, you have control for that which is really good and your motors off which is your stepper motors and back so there you have it I have a feeling that uh, this was like a rush thing it just doesn't strike me as uh, something that Crowley would do uh, if I opened up the box you would not be impressed the inside the wiring is safe it's well done but it's just the layout is not uh, not well done at all so there you